bless us with another day, Lord, to be together and fellowship with one another and have conversations, Lord, and reach with each other. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for the beautiful weather that we're having. The last few days, Lord God, please keep us safe. Travel to the first. And Lord, just cover us as we venture into this show, Lord God. Let it be your will and it be your way. Amen. Today, so a lot going on is today is actually the one year anniversary of the George Floyd uh, murder. And so we're still constantly, we're, we're still consciously awaiting for um, for, his, for the uh, ex-officer who, who murdered George Floyd. We're waiting for the, um, for the uh, sentencing, right, the sentencing for the judge. So I think it's going to be in about a couple of weeks. Yeah. It should be in June. It's already May 25th. Yeah. Uh, waiting for the sentencing of the officer, the ex-officer who, uh, who murdered George Floyd. We want to see what he gets. We're hoping that we throw a book at him. We're hoping that... Um, just, just to serve yes, for indeed. this family. Yes, indeed. Yes, yeah, so that's what we're that's, 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 that's what we're waiting for. Um, I'm just trying to get back to the computer that I kicked off. So, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, so good, man. Any thoughts on George Floyd before we jump to Malcolm X and then our, our guest, uh, Chris Nelson? Yeah, yeah, you know, man, I, I've been, of course, having conversations today because of, you know, everybody's is fresh on everybody's mind, the news, of the one year, and I, and I hate to say anniversary, because anniversary is something to be celebrated normally, right? right? So right. it's just mm -hmm. the one year marker mm -hmm. of um, something that, that happened, um, and it's not something that's neatly happened, happened, but it's something that's happened that should put everybody on alert and notice that we got to do better as people, man. Like we have to, we have to value people's lives more, especially black people's lives. In this country, in this country, man, um, the history of how it's, how it's, you know, how black people have been treated. Right. Um, it, it's just, it brings to the forefront for me the, the ability that God gives us as, as a people, man, where we are able to work and thrive even through pain. Mm. And the last year, man, I, I, all the stuff going through, you know, the pandemic right. included. Right. You know, these instances, and this instance, instance in particular with George Floyd, it, it just put everything on blast. Like, it really yeah. brought it to your visual forefront where it couldn't be denied. Right. And I just yeah. pray that justice is served in a way through his, you know, through the sentencing that shows, man, look, this is undeniable. We have to handle this in a way that, you know, hey, man, people's lives are about you know, and, and George Floyd's life was not for naught, man. Um, right. And I don't want to walk out my house as a, as a father and a husband, as a son, thinking, you know what, man, my life doesn't mean what God told me it meant. Right. You know, God valued me in the highest regard. Right, right. So I don't want to walk around feeling devalued because there's there's people out here in the society that feels as though if 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 black lives are you know you know belittled, that's the only way to elevate their their value. Right. So man, this this day and kind of having conversations with others um, back and forth. That's one of the things I just really wanted to get out of. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just value each other. Take the time and value each other better. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely agree, man. And I think that um, the George Floyd, uh, which was actually the George Floyd murder, you know, I call it just the beginning of public lynching. That's what, that's what I saw. Um, and it was, it was no debate, no denying. It wasn't no. Uh, he didn't have any weapon. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like it was no. Nobody could. Nobody had no ammunition to kind of say, oh, it was justified in any way whatsoever. It was just so blatant. And um, even you know the trial and the defense attorney, like some of their uh, defense tactics or strategies, to me were were just ridiculous. You know, um, I, I think they're just drawing for straws. I don't know. 
Um, I was a little bit nervous because, you know, a lot of times when you get a jury and you have 12 people with 12 different, you know, um, mindsets and way of thinking and, and ideas and, and, you know, and whatever their prejudices are, prejudices are, you know what I mean? I was a little nervous, like, uh, you know, I hope they did the right thing. You know, I hope they just see it the way we saw it, you know. Right. The video is a video. But they hope they don't fall from a slick talk, from a slick lawyer or anything like that. And the jury, they surprisingly came back with a verdict really, really quick. And yeah. Really, really, really easy. And it was, you know, guilty on all charges. So it, it, it was, a, it was, a, it was, it was a, it was, it was, it was a victory, you know, for 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 the people, man. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? So. Um, yeah. Also, you know, like I said uh, last week we were um, honoring uh, Minister Malcolm X on his birthday. Mm -hmm. We're going to continue that as well uh, this week. And uh, Chris Nelson is back. And, you know, Chris Nelson was with us last week, and he debuted his new song. Um, we are our ancestors. We salute. I'm our sorry. Ancestors. We salute our. I'm sorry. We salute our ancestors. Salute. Right. And um, so we're going to play his song, and be going to uh, talk to him. He's here, so. And he has his own cameras and stuff going on, and I don't know what's going on. And I'm, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's hey, man. What's going on. You gotta reach the people. I, I'm man. just here, man. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so, hey, Chris, hey, welcome back, brother. How are you? I feel good, man. How you doing? Good, man. Good, good. You know, just I just got me down, but hey, man, I'm not gonna stay down. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. Man. That's right. We'll fight through like I always do, right? Absolutely. With everything that we do, yeah, bro. So how was your week? Uh, productive thus far. Productive, you yes, know? sir. Uh, weekend right. was productive. Everything was great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, hey, I'm excited to be back in the studio, man. You know, um, I'm excited you know, to be back and uh, be back on the air and Instagram and one of our Instagram followers and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm AJ Stone. That's Deacon Darrell. That's uh, Chris Nelson. And this is Spiritual Connect Radio. I guess you can see the sign. I ain't gonna lie, it's over there. It should be over there. I don't know who it. Um, somebody's getting written up. Somebody's getting written up for that. <laughs> but no. Nah. But uh, Chris, man, talk to yes. us about, about your about your new single. You know about who you collaborated with, and uh, I think you have a whole album you're working on, right? It was coming out. Yes, I am. A new project. Yeah. So talk to the people about it, man. We want to know. Well, the name of the song is called "We Salute Our Ancestors." Right. Um, I teamed up with my friend Akeem Akil. He's he's a uh, the co-producer of the song, mm -hmm. and I also teamed up with. Um, one of the last poets, the legendary last poets. His name is Baba Abiy Al Doom. Right. Baba Abiy Al Doom. Right. And um, it was uh, it was inspired by um, different elders I spoke with, different people in my age group mm -hmm. um, that I talked to about um, within our within our culture, mm -hmm. um, hip hop, R and B, soul, hip, you know, African culture mm -hmm. and African American culture. You know, just uh, just come up with ideas um, on how to express yourself. And also um, honoring our ancestors that, that that went that went before us. Right, right. You know, really giving back to our communities, and also acknowledging people who came before us. Mm -hmm. You know, too many people, um, other cultures, um, do the same thing with their with their people. So yeah. um, I'm not saying that, that we don't do it, <clears throat> but um, I yeah. wanted to do something you know that would honor everybody that that passed on that, that made transition. Mm -hmm. um, you know, from from Paul Mooney all the way up, to, all the way up to uh, um, Imhotep from back in the day, you know. Okay. Right, right. Uh, you know, uh, Queen Nefertiti and you know mm -hmm. all those ancient queens and kings and queens before we was called so-called slaves. So, right, right. you know, honoring every ancestor from back in the day to now. Nice, nice, yes. nice, nice. And you know, I, mean, I, I think it's important to. Um, just like, you know, I think it's important to also pass down information in our own individual families. Yes. You know, from generation to generation. You know what I mean? Like what, yeah. what a great grandfather did and what was yes. it about and you know, and how they brought land or how they, you know, worked work land and you know yes. how they moved from down south to up here and how mm -hmm. people migrated from up north yeah. back down south. south. Or east so, to west. Yeah. yeah, so there's so much going on and or there's overseas. so much <laughs> there's so much history, you know, in our own families. Like like you may not you there know is. you might even know that you're you know what your grandfather, great grandfather did for a living, or yes. how how he met your great grandma, and how they migrated, you know, to a different part of the country. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important to pass down information and history through generations. You know, individually, we all, we all can do that. Yes, I never shared this publicly, but um, one of my grandfathers, um, who I, who I, whom I never met, his name was uh, his name was Dempsey Nelson Jr. Mm -hmm. He was a Tuskegee Airman. 
Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes. Um, if you, nice. if you, uh, if you, um, if you know the famous eight. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, the sec- the second to the last guy on the okay, facing pictures, picture wise. Right. Yeah. You see all seven. The guy, the seventh guy, is wearing for Dempsey Nelson Jr. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. Nice. And he started the Apex in Chicago. Oh, did he? Wow. Okay. And birthed um, five children. Uh, one of one of, one of them was my mother. Mm-hmm. The other was um, Phyllis Nelson, who had overseas success. Okay, oh, right. Yes. That's right. your aunt. And, yeah, singing. my aunt. My aunt singing, yes. Right, yes. And she birthed Mark Nelson, who, who saw the boys to men. <coughs> right. Oh, <Yes>. okay. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. but Dempsey Nelson Jr., um, you know, he was uh, a writer and a Tuskegee mm-hmm. Airman. Mm-hmm. He was, a, um, you know, he had, he was a, a, a brilliant, brilliant um, businessman. Mm-hmm. Wow. He's also a gangster. <laughs> mm-hmm. okay. You know what I'm saying? You know. Yeah. But um, you know, in those days, back in those days, a jack black man owned a business it was it was, it was unheard of. Even though, you know, nineteen uh, twenties uh, with um, so Tulsa, Oklahoma, Greenwood, right. and other other yeah. places. You know what I'm saying yeah. so it was possible for you know black men and black women to own businesses. Right. So, but um, you know, he went through the, the, through those times as well. You say he was in Chicago. Yeah, he was in Chicago. I wonder, I wonder if he was in that Bronzeville section that they always talk about. I'm not sure. <laughs> that was kind of like a Black Wall Street. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Probably so. He, he um, like a powerful dude. Powerful yeah, dude. I'm sure he had to be tough, you know what I mean? Yeah, just he to, <laughs> Yeah, you know he I mean, just to be a business owner in, in, that, in, that, in, that, in that culture, that atmosphere, in that environment. Absolutely. Yeah. You know I mean? Chicago's always been tough. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Street-wise, business-wise, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a tough town. So, um, so just honoring him and my other grandfather, Reverend Battle, um, whom I met as a child, obviously, and, and um, he taught me uh, about life situations, how to give back to people, mm-hmm. and um, he got me on this journey. Um, also, my uncle Keith got me on on, on the, the spiritual journey and also on the African cultural journey mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. to never uh, be uh, diminish yourself as a black as a black man. When I was younger, my uncle Keith gave me my first book, um, African book, because I was I was teased for being too dark, mm-hmm. and he stopped all that mess at ten years old before I even grew, grew up and started hating myself. You know what I'm saying? Right. He stopped that mess at ten years old. Right. So I was I was uh, de black and nice. That's what I'm talking. <laughs> I was right decolonized now. way back then. You know what I'm saying? So, nice, nice. Um, gr- growing up, you know, and and just and learning. Our culture and and understanding and, and overseeing and understanding who we are, mm-hmm. and now you know um, I used to be like I said I used to be used to being too dark and it's in the third and mm-hmm. but now you know black and the bears feed the juice I love it you know what I mean that's right, right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. And, um, you know mm-hmm. so I um I uh, love everybody who, who's different shades of black within our culture you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying and I salute everybody who today as well as our ancestors you know what I mean you know uh, um, the songs for young people especially for, for them to learn. Who, they, who we are right. before we was um, before we was in the African Holocaust, we were kings and queens, right. and mm-hmm. um, our ancestors were, were were we got mighty genes. We got mm-hmm. we have strong genes, strong blood, strong bones. You know, we're strong mm-hmm. people, and um, I want to remind that and keep that going. Um, Using my my gifts and talents, and um, you know, if I, I had to find a way. I found a way. You know, um, like I said, through conversations with. At my elders, you know, mm-hmm. what I'm saying over the years, and with with people, my, people who are my peers, and and listening to um, different um, scholars, different uh, business people from back in the day, um, watching people that I admire, like James Brown, Michael Jackson, Prince, mm-hmm. um, sure. uh, uh, Malcolm X, Dr. King, mm-hmm. Dr. Yosef Benyakin, uh, Dr. Mm-hmm. Dr. John Henry Clark, um, uh, Mega Eger- Mega Evers, uh, mm-hmm. Dr. Hyde, Harry Tubman, you name it. Um, I study our different people, uh, what they did with their lives and how they changed their lives. So now, you know, after studying and going on different marches myself, you know, and, and learning from my grandfather firsthand, you know, I, I definitely want to, you know, continue that tradition. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. I, def- I definitely want to advise um, our listeners, man, to, um, you know, do your research. You know? Yes. Um, you know, when people, like, you know, throw out names or whatever and, this person history, that person history. If you're not sure that person is, man, you know, research them. Look, look yes. them up. You know what I mean? Yeah, look See them what up. About, yes. You know? Very important. Um, you know, it's funny. Uh, like, I always, like, when I was, uh, you know, I'm a fan of um, um, a 
Bob Marley, right? Yes. Okay. He had this song called Buffalo Soldier. Okay. And the song is actually um, honoring black men in America, right? And mm-hmm. our soldiers in America. He called the song Buffalo Soldier. And, um, and but there was like an army regiment of black men back in the, in the day, like in the cowboy days, mm-hmm. who were called Buffalo Soldiers, yeah. right? And so, I, you know, I remember I bought this real nice Buffalo Soldier, you know, shirt. And I saw this beautiful jacket. This guy made these beautiful jackets. Like mm-hmm. these um, team jackets. And he had one with Buffalo Soldiers and all his stuff on it. And he had the one with Tuskegee Airmen. Mm-hmm. I wanted I wanted both jackets. Yeah. And I got the one with Tuskegee, Tuskegee Airmen. You guys see me wear them a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, um, but the Buffalo, Buffalo Soldier one, you know, I was, I was going to get that one next. But when I kind of reached and looked up the Buffalo Soldiers, right, the regiment of, of the soldiers back in the day, you know, their sole purpose, what they actually did was help protect the white soldiers and the white cowboys against the Indians. <laughs> so they were used to fight the Indians. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, I'm like, why would you do that? You know what I mean? Why would you join forces to fight to fight the Indians when they were protecting their own? You know what I mean? They were in their rights. Yeah. So, when I, so when I read the history of the Buffalo Soldiers, mm-hmm. Now I don't want their paraphernalia. I don't want to wear their stuff because I disagree with what they did. Yeah, you know what I mean. But of course, I'm not a song by Bob Marley. Yeah, you know, honoring us. Yeah, you know what I mean. Not really talking about them. But like yeah. I said, once I dug a little bit deeper into it, mm-hmm. what they what what they stood for, I, I wouldn't have been for that. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So, so most people don't know. Most people don't know. Um, and there's a study out there that the first Americans were black people. Mm-hmm. They don't really actually say it. But mm-hmm. um, they're the first Americans were black folks. Oh, yeah. I mean, we traveled way before um, the so-called slave trade, before called t- child slavery. We, we traveled. We were we were the first world travel travelers from Africa to to um to London to to Asia mm-hmm. to here in America. It wasn't called America back then. It was called something else. So um, Columbus did not Columbus did, did not discover America. It was already here. He was there. We was, already, we, was, we was already here, the first world travelers, you know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. and we first civilized the whole world. Yeah. I don't, I don't even think they teach that in school anymore. They, no, they don't. No, they don't. They want to teach lives. You never should have in the first place. Well, right. when I, when I'm I glad they corrected that. When I came up, uh, I was told that my history started in slavery. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That was all of us. Yeah. yeah. But my Uncle Keith, you know, he gave me the blueprint and said, nah, Actually, our history started 3,000 years ago, yeah. past 3,000 years ago in ancient Kemet, ancient Kush, mm-hmm. our cable line, which is now called Africa. So, you know, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We were the first world travelers, so, um, and also the, 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 the indigenous people on this planet. Right. So, so guys, it's time, it's time for, for a break. We used to take a break every 15 minutes. So we're going to play uh, one of Chris Nelson's songs, um, Our Time. And then we're going to come back, talk a little bit more, and then play his new song, We, we Salute Our Ancestors. So, no, are you, are you, shall I play when, when You Smile or Our Time? Oh, you can play Our Time. Last time you played When You Smile. Yeah, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll play time. both. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, don't stay tuned, folks. Here's um, Our Time by Chris Nelson here on Spiritual Connect Radio. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pause it, what happens? Just go over, pause it. Yeah, this goes over. This goes over the pause. Okay, cool, cool. What's good, y'all? This is Chris Nelson. We're live here on Spurs Gonnet Radio and also on uh, uh, Instagram. <laughs> What's up, Tim Porter? My brother? What's up, man? How you doing? What's good, my back? Oh, man, you good. <laughs> the, um, What's this? Is it rap version? No, it's, it's, it's just, uh... You're not hearing the line. Yeah, yeah, right now. That's Ronald Ali. That's Ronald Ali, um, rapper. Yeah, Ronald Ali. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is that live on, on radio? Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, we feel like, man, talk about the music, or talk about the song. Talk about, yeah. I just flow, it, it just flows on me. Yeah, that's all good. So uh, talk about the song, yeah. and then we come back. Sure. Talk about the song, the new song, and then I want you to sing again to your last song. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, you know. The last time, man, I, I, on the Instagram, I didn't hit the, the, the big live button before I did it. Oh, yeah, that's right. What's up, brother? How you doing? <laughs> you cool, uh, getting there? I'm good, brother. Any questions for uh, Chris? Uh, I came this one calling in, I think. Hopefully. Okay. I came. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. I'll give you a number. So he lives in Morton also? Yeah. What you say? You doing the work or something? Yeah, yeah, but we're still live. <laughs> huh? We're still live. Oh, cool, cool. <laughs> no, we want him to come in the studio, man. We're gonna see him live. But that's cool. We call in whatever we can do. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, man, I came out there. Um, call in, brother. All right. Those who wanna um. Call in and, and uh, speak to me or speak to, to everybody. You, you can call 215-782-8464. Once again, that's 215-782-8464. All right? So um, check it out. It's Chris on that radio. Chris Nelson promoting We Salute Our Ancestors. You ready? Ready. Uh, that was uh, Chris Nelson. It was an original song by Chris Nelson and yeah, yeah. Uh, Ronan I. Lee. And it's called Our Time. So what's, yes. what's the song about, brother? And you know how that song kind of come come about? Our Time? Yes. Um, it was one of those things. Um, Our Time, uh, was, it was originally for the beat. The song that I composed with my friend uh, Adis, Adisa Grimes. We was, uh, um, promote, we was produ producing the song the track for a, a, a girl group mm -hmm. um but then they never wanted to use it so i figured let me let me take it on because you know the drums you know i'm, I'm a percussion person i love percussion and yes, i also sir. play piano so um because mm -hmm. piano is it's, it's, piano is in the uh percussion family right, <laughs> right so right. um i got inspired you know i mean around the time uh then Senator Obama was, was, was running for president of the United States. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got inspired by his message, you know, about, about hope and, and change and all that stuff. So I wanted to do something um, universal that would actually uh, have an everlasting feeling, everlasting touch, everlasting soul, everlasting type of vibration that would um, uplift the, the, our community. So our time is about uplifting, uplifting our communities and overcoming adversity within our communities and also within our families and also within ourselves. Nice, you know what I'm nice, saying? And nice. I wanted to create an anthem. So he, he um, it, was, it was inspired by him. And, and like I said, conversations from elders, you know, finding my own way uh, of, of expressing myself as an artist. And um, so, yeah, that's how our time came about. Nice, man, nice. So I want to play a little bit of When You Smile. Okay. Then I want you to sing in studio live a cappella for our for our listeners and for our followers on Instagram. Okay. Uh, it's a spiritual connect radio, the AJ Stone show with Deacon Daryl and I'm AJ Stone. And uh, live in studio we got Chris Nelson. And so we're gonna play a little bit of his song When You Smile. I'm gonna play about thirty seconds of the song and then he's gonna sing the rest of it a cappella. All right. For us live in the studio. So we're gonna go there right now. All right, Stone, I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait, guys. Hey, me, how you doing? You got Tim, Montaire, and Mia. Appreciate the love.
And to y'all, appreciate the love and support, y'all. Love y'all. to you after we make some wild things between us doing what we do cooking you some breakfast whatever you like yeah you don't have to worry sit back relax let me play this song for you loving you is beautiful peace with your pretty warm spirit you're so in love and caring heart by the way you're genuine. You make the rain stop and the sun shine all day long. Way high in the skies, above the clouds, and to the heavens where the garlic sees me every single day when you smile. When you smile, when you smile, when you smile, With your pretty warm spirit, your soul and love and care and heart by the way you're genuine. You make the rain stop and the sun shine all day long, way high in the skies, above the clouds and to the heavens, where the garlic sees me every single day when you smile. When you smile, when you smile, when you smile. Nice. Yeah. Thank All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John like that live in the studio Thank on you. the AJ Stone Show here at Spiritual Connect Radio. Chris Nelson, one of his, uh, and actually, you actually played keys in that song as well. Right? Yes, it's me playing keys and actually doing all um, four point harmony on, on the track. Nice, nice. So I'm doing bass, tenor, alto, and soprano on that track and lead. Wow. Okay, okay. Yes. All right, that's a lot going on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yep. <laughs> hey, man, that's a, that's a hit, man. That's a hit. Thank you, thank you, thank and, you. Uh, I've enjoyed that song for a little bit now. Um, so, hey, guys, so, uh, all right, so now the new song. Yes. The new song is you're mostly on the keys. Yes, most uh, right. me on keys and Baba Abio Doom from the Last Poets is mm -hmm. um, is is the feature on, on that track. Wow, he's, 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 doing, he's doing he is doing the spoken word right. on that track. Yes. <clears throat> wow. So how did you look up with the Last Poets, man? Those guys are famous. They've been around since the seventies. Yes. You yes. Know, those guys. I remember listening to those guys when I was a kid. You know? Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, I want to give a big shout out to um, the Million Woman March committee i was a part of the committee um for the 20th anniversary of the, of the million Women march mm -hmm. so i want to give a shout out to sister filet mm -hmm. and um the committee of the million Women march that's where i met baba abia doom <clears throat> right. was there um it was on october 29th 2017 in philadelphia celebrating the um the, the 20th anniversary of the moon of the million Women march okay and um she made me musical director for 
um, this band called the, called the Orchestra, mm -hmm. and I, I became musical I became musical director from the, from the, in the band, mm -hmm. and he came on stage uh, that that day um, and performed after I performed on stage with the mm -hmm. band. Yep. So I met him, and we've been friends ever since, connecting with each other ever since, and um, you know just over the years, uh, you know, and I asked him. Me and my friend Samantha, uh, we um, had a, a discussion one day on the phone, and we talked about, um, you know, would it be nice to actually have uh, Bubba 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 Abel Doom on, on the track. Right. So I asked, I called him up, and, and there you go. Um, the rest is history. Uh, hey, I also came up with with, bro, with uh, brother Akeem Akil. We uh, we actually work on working on this piano album. Mm -hmm. So this track is actually the first track from the piano album. The, the, album. the, no the piano album, yes, the, uh, it's called um, "Sounds of, of Sounds of the Soul and Mind." Sounds of the Soul and Mind, right? Which will, hope, which will be, I'm, I'm looking to get that done in October and release it next year. Okay. So, right. yeah. so, so now you know you talk about you know being a part of the um, the, the 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 Million Women March uh, committee and everything. And, and yes. Music director and everything like that. And yes. So my question is, are you single? Yes, I am single. And well, so I'm kind of dating here, but yeah. okay, I'm about to say that because <laughs> you know, because if you were involved in the women, one million woman march committee, <laughs> you know what I mean? As a man, <laughs> you should have an opportunity to meet a lot of women. I did. So. You know. <laughs> what focused. happened? What's going on? I'm focused, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm building my empire. You know what I'm yes, saying? Sir. I'm building yes, our time entertainment. Then they, they, they oh, right. called our time entertainment. So I'm building that right now. Yes, sir. Yes. So I don't, I don't, I don't, have, I don't have, pretty much have no time for the no ladies right now. <laughs> all <laughs> but, right, all right. You know. You know. Just got access to a million women. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> So, right, I'm man. seeing some, you know, I'm, I'm dating here and there. But. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just teasing. <laughs> but my focus right now is just, uh, you know. No, you know, she's just a family. I met her before. She's a beautiful sister, man. Yeah. Uh, hard worker, man. You know, just, just in the community, man. You know, always pouring in, pouring into young women and mm -hmm. mentoring. And uh, just always, just always uh, available and, and out yes. there. You know what I mean? In the communities and activism you know so i mean yes. she's a wonderful, wonderful young wonderful sister yes she's, she's not right. happy, but she's a wonderful sister yep and um so all right man so we're gonna get into the new song mm -hmm. we salute our ancestors yes with uh a baba doom baba abio doom from the baba last abio doom abio doom abio doom abio doom from the last poets, from the last poets. <laughs> you guys, you, listen i want i want to ask all you guys to look up the last poets. Yes, please do. Right, please do. Legends. Yeah. I mean, this is where hip hop came from. Yes. Rap, rap came from the last poets. Yep. This, this, this is where it started. Yes. So for right. the young folk out there, yeah. I, I actually still have their CDs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, my dad has their albums. Hey, uh, yeah. there you go. <laughs> I mean, I might have to confiscate them things from. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I remember years ago, I wanted to do a whole last poets, you know, show. Oh wow! I just yeah. play their stuff and some new mix, some new stuff in with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still might do that. I, I may that. actually have him on the on the phone one day. Come over here, call, call on the yeah, phone. Man, have him come at oh, you. Oh wow! I'm gonna try. We'll come get him. We'll come get him. <clears throat> well, actually, um. He's in New York, right? He's in New York. He's in New York, yeah. Okay. We're actually, before you uh, go, uh, before you start the music, mm -hmm. we're actually going to work on the music video, too, as well. We're okay. going to start on, um, for the song. So on June 8th, uh, we're, we're going to be filming in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to um, be a part of it, um, come, out, come out to Michael X Park. We're going to be out there on June 8th um, filming for We Still Our, Our Ancestors. So he's going to be there, <clears throat> No, 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 no. Okay. This is going to be all day in Philly. Okay. I'm going to be traveling up there. To, to New York uh, on the eleventh. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. June eleventh. So. So, to to film his part. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I might just go up there with you. Then. Okay. Yeah. 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 You going by train, plane, boat? <laughs> how, how you getting up there? I take the ride. You know, driving. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Driving. Yeah, Rolling. Ro Rolling shotgun. <laughs> you know, with some Philly cheese steaks and uh -huh. pretzels. Yeah, you go. Nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, 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 everybody's invited. You know. Um. Um. If you guys uh, want to still want to do it, um, for those who can't make it out to Philadelphia or to New York uh, or Morton or Delaware, come mm -hmm. also filming in Morton and in, in Delaware as well with, with the music, with the, with the music video. Um, you can you can uh, send me your um, video um, with people who may transition your family or a famous person that may transition, right. and you can just say we salute, you know we salute our ancestors. 
Right. Send it to uh, CNELS25, CNELS250 at gmail.com. And I'll put you in um, the video. Uh, send me your name as well and also the, the name of the person that you're representing. So I'll put their name in the credits. That's good, man. Nice. Good. Yes. People can be a part of the video. Yeah. You're inviting people to go up to New York and go to, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not everybody, but yeah. Are you inviting the one million women that you met? No. Nah, nah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, so here's uh, We Salute Our Ancestors. Yes. Uh, this is Chris Nelson, his original song for off his new album, his new project he's actually still working on. Working on. Yes. And in the beginning, there's one of the last poets. But, yes. Uh, I'll be a doom. I'll be a doom. And so uh, here it is. What's good, y'all? Thanks for listening. Appreciate it so much. Hard work, yo. Promoting. I love it, though. <laughs> if you guys want, to, if you guys want to purchase a song, go on to Bandcamp.com. Bandcamp.com. C N E L C N E L S. No, C H R S N E L S two five zero. Dot Bandcamp.com. Once again, that's Chris Nels. C H R I S N E L S two five zero dot dot bandcamp dot com. All right. Also, you can go to our time entertainment dot com. H O U R T Y M E entertainment dot com. All right. Shout out to Baba Abi Odun from the Last Poets. Shout out to um, Akeem Akil. Shout out to Gail Songbird, Reputation Band. Shout out to um, NWM, uh, Main Woman March Committee. Shout out to uh, everybody who's been part. Shout out to um, Spiritual Night Radio. <laughs> and all the family in Morton, Philadelphia, and New York, and around the world. I love y'all.
Hey guys, so that was a brand new, brand new original song off the new project for Chris Nelson. Yes. And uh, in conjunction, you, would, you did it with one of the last poets. Yes, by Bobby Abdul. Bobby Abdul. And Akil, Akil was a, a co-producer with me. And Akil co-producer. Yes. So in the beginning, this, this song is beautiful, man. It's, thank uh, you, thank keys, you. You sound beautiful on the keys, man. Yes. I know your new project. You're, you're not doing vocals, you're doing all just keys. All just keys, yes. Okay. Yes. But on this song, in the beginning, when the brother from the last poets is doing the poetry, yes. you're actually the one playing the percussion. Yes, I am. I'm playing I'm playing the, uh, the bongos, right. the tambourine, the clavets, I'm also playing the shakers on it. Wow, how'd you learn all this? Uh, now, playing, I, you know, I would, I, I've known you as a keyboard player and yes. a vocalist for years. Yes. But, uh, um, playing in bands, playing with uh, Gellow Stormbird mm -hmm. and Rasputation Band, right. Ronald Ali, um, playing in the, with, with, with the different percussion players, you know, drummers right. yeah. over the years. You know, I, I learned from them and watching, studying different musicians, artists who play mm -hmm. instruments like Stevie Wonder, Prince, Earth mm -hmm. in the Fire, uh, P Funk, you know what I'm saying, uh, right. James Brown. So, yeah. but learning firsthand from other musicians. Right. Yes. Wow. I'm actually glad you asked that question, Brother AJ, because. Yeah. Um, and, and, and being blessed with having to hear, you know, Brother Chris's music over the past week, right? Yes. It kind of it kind of inspired, I guess, the, the word to me listening to two artists for the rest of the week, man. And and I ain't trying to compare you, my brother. I'm just saying it, it, it shifted me to listen to some Marvin Gaye. Thank you. It Thank shifted you. me to listen to some Stevie Wonder. Mm -hmm. And just listening to your what your what your music is yes. driving at. You know the conscious messages. Yes, yes. Those artists kind of leaped out at me, only yes. to find out that they they were just celebrating the fiftieth year of what's, what's going, going on. on. Yeah, I didn't even realize that, mm -hmm. but I'm in the midst of listening to these two artists all week. Well, years. Marvin Gaye, Steve, yeah, Marvin Gaye, Steve Wonder, Michael Jackson, uh, Prince, Patrice Russian, mm -hmm. this, uh, um, The Roots, Jill Scott, um, Goody Mob. Outcast. Hey, all right. So many different artists that you know from you know my era. You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. some new artists too, but you know from basically from the 50s, 60s, 70s, all the way up to 90s and early 2000s and you know, up to now, mostly 90s music. Yeah. I'm inspired. I mean, I grew up. I grew up listening in my house, uh, listening to Pride 9 FM when when when, right. when, Lady, like, when Lady B was on Pride 9 9 FM. <laughs> yes, sir. Right, right. You know what I'm saying when my, my when my aunt Phil was, was on TV. Um, and not even not even knowing who she was, she 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 was she was just my aunt. You know what I'm saying right. Um, not even not even knowing what I was what I was seeing in front of my eyes when Boys the Man came to my house. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. You know what I mean? So, so uh, yeah, it's, it's it's just amazing. You know what I'm saying? Where growing up in the household with, with family who who writes music and writes songs and poetry, and also who was was in the military and also in business. Mm -hmm. To now do my own thing, so um, yeah, I, I, my influence is is, is is from music, from politics, from business, from life, agriculture, from radio. It's just it's everywhere. TV, oh, right. movies, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Marvin Gaye, Steve Wonder, you 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 could definitely hear um, influences, but um, you hear Chris Nelson too, because they they all sure. they all inspire me to be myself. You know, NWA, right. um, you know, said it best. You know, what I'm saying. They brought out. They they actually allow artists to be themselves and not follow the crowd. But who said that? N.W.A. Oh, N.W.A. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Ice Cube. You know. Yeah. yeah. Nice man. Nice. Yeah, MC Ren. Yep. <laughs> Dr. Yeah, Dre. Dre. Easy E. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I mean, they made it. They, you know, they made it um, okay for rappers, for artists to be themselves and not follow the, you know, the status quo. You yeah. know. So. What was the group from Cleveland? Um, um, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah. Yeah, yep. they had their own little different twists on things. Yeah, that's how it was, you know what I yeah. mean? And, and, you know, and so I grew up on that. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I'm an 80s baby, but, you know, I just turned 40, so. Right, right, I'm an 80s right. baby, so, but, um. Okay. Yeah, but, man. thank you, thank you, so. <laughs> um, so back in the day, that, that's all I knew was, was, was authentic music, authentic hip-hop, authentic yeah. R&B soul and right. gospel, you know what I mean? That's yeah. all I knew. Yes, yeah, sir. Nowadays, you know, cats don't do that no more. Everybody's following the trends. Right. You know, I'm, I, I, you know, I created my own lane. You know what I'm saying, if somebody once told me to create your own lane, so that's, that's what I did. There you go. And then here I am. Hey, that's good stuff, man. We proud of what you're doing, man. Thank you. We, thank we appreciate you. the talent, man, and, and your time that you give, and all that you do in the community, man. You know, and working with young people, working yes. with, with handicapped people as well. Yes. Yes. Man, we really appreciate all that you do, man. 
Thank you. Thank you. He went through the radio station, man. He's working with us. And yeah, I miss it, man. You, you, you yeah. gotta let me know when I can come back to work, brother. <laughs> <laughs> miss it. I miss it. I miss it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, man. We're expanding, man. We're actually moving. We got we got we got a new space. We're moving to and uh, next week. Okay. And uh, so we're you know we're kind of we're, we're 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 expanding, man. We're doing some big things, and uh, mm -hmm. so we'll be room, man. You know, to bring more people on board, things of that sort, man. So you know, I, I appreciate I'm you. about it. I appreciate you making me um, engineer of the year um, back in 2019. Mm -hmm. well, 2019, right? Yeah, 2019. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, 18, well, you know, can bring the year 2019. I, I definitely appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, so the sign, the, the, the sign is trying to take your spot, man. <laughs> engineer of the year. Hey, you know, you know what I mean? So it's up for grabs. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He walked around with me all sleepy. Hey. Put some water on him. Hey, man. <laughs> you learn from the best, though, man. There you uh, go. Learn from the best. Learn him up. No, nah, man, that's my... Uh, that's my uh, mentee. Yeah, my man, Desai. He's doing really good here, man. We appreciate what he does. I mean, he's a young man. He's only 18, right? So I'm 18, 18, right? Yeah, 18, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. So any questions, any closing remarks? You can tell everybody to get out of here, man. We've been, we've been on for 50 minutes. Hey, man, let's do this. Yeah, I, I just really want to say thanks again to Brother Chris. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Nelson coming in, blessing us, blessing the folks in the, in, in, on the airwaves, man. Again, this this platform, Spiritual Connect Radio, getting out messages through all of our spiritual gifts, but um, in in a, in a way that's broadcasted. Mm -hmm. uh, man, I, I just I'm just blessed to be a part of it, and I want to say thank you uh, to have Brother Chris in. Mm -hmm. Thank you for Brother AJ to have the uh, platform, Spiritual Connect Radio. And uh, you know what, man? Going forward, I just I just hope we can stay consistent and keep elevating. Keep inspiring. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Hey, man. So, closing remarks. I just want to. I want. I also want to thank uh, Chris Nelson for being part of our show. Thank you. Um, you know, coming back. You know, and uh, you know, just uh, premiering his music uh, through us first. You know, I yes. feel honored that he picked us to do that. Yes. Uh, he's associated with, with many different stations. You know, to pick us to you know to, 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 to play his music first, man. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's an honor. This is family, man. Yeah. So, hey, man, we appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you saying, uh, come back anytime. And when you're ready to do your own show, man, are you working on something? Yes. Get some ideas you want to bring to the station, man. You know, yes. we're definitely open. We want to grow with you. You know what I mean? So, absolutely. You know, and uh, so you're part of the station, man. You know, we've been together. We've been friends for about six years now. I think. Uh, over six years, absolutely. Yeah. Um, years, yeah. yeah um, since Philly uh, Hot Radio. The old station, yeah, yep. yeah. Philly Hot. Yeah. Um, next year, um, I'm celebrating two anniversaries, uh, mm -hmm. then making the Wayne smile, and then also our time will be 10 years old next year. Man, wow, that's great. Okay. Yes. Okay. Wow. And actually, the making of our time was, uh, the song was actually this, uh, will be this year. Um, mm -hmm. July the 2nd and July the 4th is when I actually made my first music video, Our Time. Right. So, 2021 will be the actual time to end. The, the, the 10th anniversary. Right. Okay. So you might you, you might see me celebrate on July. <laughs> there you go. So, okay. There you go. Yeah. So we'll be around and celebrate with you, man, and celebrate you as well. Absolutely. Um, and hey, people, go ahead. Um, if you guys want to um, purchase the music, you can go on to uh, um, Chris Nels, C H R S N E L S 250.bandcamp.com. Um, also, you can find the different tabs on my website. At our time entertainment, H O U R T Y M E entertainment dot com, and okay. you can go in there and, and check it out and stuff. So. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Good stuff, brother. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thank, you. Thank you. Hey, thanks, folks. Uh, Ride out with us tonight, and uh, we'll be back. Uh, we'll be back next week. So we're gonna be moving next week. So we, we if if we're here, <laughs> if we it may look crazy because we'll be moving to our new space and. We're going to be putting things up. We're going to be working. We're going to be doing congrats. our show while we work. We're going to be probably doing our show and painting at the same time, moving furniture, <laughs> setting up equipment. So uh, it's going to be interesting how we do this next week, man. So uh, June 1st, you know, we want, to be, we want to be ready for business to open up and go live in our new studio, our new, our new place of business. Uh, it's going to be a lot more modern, brand new place. Uh, you know, every, everything is just beautiful there. That's amazing. We have an elevator. And that was the main thing. Um, you know, we're, we're here in a beautiful building in uh, Elkins Park, and uh, it's very scenic, and, you know, it's grass and trees, it's beautiful here. We have a private parking lot, and, and I love to hear. We've been here for six six years, mm -hmm. and I really enjoyed us being being a part of this building and being a part of this this space. 
And um, but the one thing that kind of like hurt my feelings several times is there's an elevator here. We're second floor. It's a beautiful place. There's no elevator. So there's friends I have who may be wheelchair bound or handicapped or, mm -hmm. or elders that's, that's important. who can't come here and be with us yeah. and be yeah. here live. And that has kind of bothered me over the years. And we would go to them or we, we make adjustments to call in things of that sort. We want to be accommodating, you know, for, for, for everyone. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's very important for me. Yeah, um, yeah it's very important for me and for all of us. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I can say for our elders who can't do the steps and for um, people who, you know, may have disabilities or, you know, what, whatever it is, you know. So now we have an elevator, so we want to be able to, you know, serve serve our, serve our people um, and bring people to you, you know, who you want to hear from, who you want to, you know, because, you know, handicap, anything can happen to anybody anytime. Mm -hmm. But there are so many times of people who may be in wheelchairs and may not can't, you know, do stairs who we, we feel as though we have a hard time bringing those people to you, to our listeners and to our listenership and to our followers. So we have corrected that. And so we are, we're, we're in a uh, space that's, um, that's more conducive to what we need to do. You know what I mean? So I praise God for that. So, hey guys, so we will be here next week, one way or another. <laughs> Maybe, you know, hey, you know, you guys can just see us putting it all together, man, you know, yeah. and, and moving forward. So, have a good night. And, uh, see you guys. See you guys and hear you guys next week on the radio. Peace. You got put in HD. All right, so HD. I'm about to go off here. Uh, nah, um, okay. you, you and I'll, I'll, I'll be back on, you, you know what I mean, back live so again, you know, to say what's up to y'all. But I'll be back. I'll, I'm, I'm going to this live right now. Thanks again for showing up, and I love y'all. Stay strong. Peace. How was your mom graduation, man? Oh, good. Glad you got your pictures. Uh,